This is the new Next Level Racing Flight Seat Pro. And this is the Flight Stand Pro. Today we're going to take a look at both of them. And actually there's a chance for you to go and win yourself a set exactly like this. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Um, quite a while back, Next Level Racing, uh, they reached out to me and they said that they had these new products coming out and they asked if I wanted to take a look at them. They're also running a giveaway. I'm going to talk more about that later, um, but just know that there's a giveaway, you have a chance to win yourself a set both with a seat and a stand. Now I want to start with the seat. So let me just get you guys so we, we can, can configure this in a lot of different ways, depending on what type of, if you're flying space sims, if you're flying aircraft. I configure this in what I would consider a, a good space sim um, configuration, where we have two pads out here. And these, you can see all these holes, they match everything. Verpal, Thrustmaster, VKB, um, some of the Logitech stuff, all of this stuff should fit most uh, common HOTAS setups that you can use, or HOSAS, depending on what you'd like to fly. There and there. You notice this one is bigger, it has this extra little piece here, and that's if you want to use it as a mouse pad. These can of course be adjusted, they're quite low right now. In here, you can adjust the forward, backwards, further down there you have up and down, and you have the side to side down here. And of course, the same system is mirrored over here on the other side. Now, other than that, I've put caster wheels on them. They're quite nice, as you saw before, I can move maneuver it around quite easily. They also come uh, included with just normal feet, so you can, can use those. Um, I've also mounted the seat belts, as you can see here. Of course, you can choose to or not to, but just for the showcase, I decided to, uh, to put these on. And these are just bolted in, like down here, and also underneath the seat for the, uh, for the ones with shoulder straps. And of course, it should be pretty, pretty obvious, but of course the wheels, they lock. So to me, this is a pretty ideal seat if you have, for instance, a living room setup, where you maybe want to play on your TV, um, and you want something more than just something you DIY yourself. You can take this, you can cart it away when you don't need it, and you can easily cart it back in. See, everything is mounted, just the cable, plug it in, you're good to go. So for like a living room setup, I can definitely see this being very, very attractive. Now, I said there was a number of accessories. This is one of them. This one just goes down here, and then you can center mount a joystick. If you, for instance, like to fly helicopters, People often want to put that in there, so you can use that for, uh, for helicopters, put an extension on. You can also mount a collective out here on the side. So again, if you want to make a helicopter seat out of this, then this come included. You can just put that down there. Now, if you're more of a flight sim kind of guy, it has this thing that, let's see if I can do this one handed. Oops, there we go. I can. <laughs> that goes in there. There's some bolts you need to bolt it in. Obviously, the same with the other one. And now you take the top plate, like you take that plate off, that screws in there. And now you have your option to mount, for instance, a steering wheel or a yoke or something like that. And again, loads of control options in terms of like where you want it and angles and stuff like that. Other than that, the seat also supports Next Level Racing's um, motion system where you basically replace the like frame this sits on with like a motion control thing. So the whole seat will, uh, will move around. Now, when it comes to the Flight Stand Pro uh, that we have here, well, obviously these are two sister products. They kind of belong together. They're intended to be used together. While you can use either of these standalone, um, I'm gonna of course show them together here because there's some quite neat features. First of all, down here, if we just go down on the floor, you can see there's some little corner brackets installed here. You could just remove these two bolts that take out the corner bracket, then cart that in, and then screw those bolts into those two holes. The same, of course, over on the other side there. And now these two functions as one unit. They basically screw in and become one, um, which is a quite neat system. Other than that, we obviously have a plate in here for, um, for pedals. Again, loads and loads of options for controlling them vertically, the angle of them. And with these knobs down here, you can also move it forward and backwards and there are additional holes all the length here. So there's loads of customization options to get them in just the position you like. Now, further up, we can see again, I mounted these plates out here. Um, for space sims, 
Not sure they make a whole lot of sense. They're kind of high when you're sitting down. They're almost like a table level, actually higher than table level. Um, so I don't know about, about those, but they have the, which also is included, the keyboard plate that you mount out here on the side. So if you want to have a keyboard, you can put that there. And similarly, there's a smaller one out there and they're kind of doing the same thing here. Um, that, that one is smaller, that one is bigger if you want to use that as a mouse pad. Because one of the things you can do if you're using this alone, I haven't actually mounted this. It's still in wrap, but it comes with this little, like, it's like a channel um, that you can mount with these brackets here. And the intention with this is you drive your caster wheels from your uh, office chair into this little, like, tray, if you will. And that prevents your office chair from moving around if you're sitting and using an office chair and not using a flight sim chair like that. Other than that, of course, we have this main plate up here. This, of course, support installation of something like a yoke, installation of a steering wheel. Um, you can mount your F uh, MFTs up here, multifunction displays, if that's what you like. Loads of options what you can do there. You can also just clamp things on here on the back if you want to do something like mount a tablet or whatever it is you want to do. There's loads of options the way you can, can use this. Now, this stand here also comes with some uh, arm thing that you can either, I think it's supposed to go like that. Yeah, so you can mount, mount an arm like there. Again, if you're using an office chair, this was kind of work as the same as the center plate we saw before on the chair. So you can center mount a joystick. It actually also fits upside down. And so that mounts like here, they have like bolts that flushes, that's flush with that. Obviously you would then flip that plate down there, upside down, oops, upside down so that it faces the right way and you will probably move it further out. But you have some options here to mount this either up, down. I haven't mounted this again. This is more of a, I think more of a helicopter kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's there. It comes included if you like to fly helicopters. Okay, so overall, build quality is, uh, when it's assembled, it feels very sturdy. I don't have, feel like this is about to fall apart. Everything feels nice and, and solid after it's assembled. However, the assembly process and the build experience leaves a lot to be desired. Now, all the screws and bolts came with this very night, neatly laid out plate. Um, and I was really excited when I saw this, I thought, this is awesome, this is so easy, everything is labeled, super nice. Problem is, as soon as you cut it open, either you have to flip it upside down, at which point you can't see the labeling anymore, or alternatively, when you open it from the top, all the washers, all the bolts, all the, everything just begins to roll around as they're just sitting on top of a cardboard plate. There's no indent for them to like stay in their position that indent is part of the lid and not part of the, of the floor, which I think is an oversight um, by Next Level Racing, else this was actually a worse experience than if they just put them in labeled bags. It would have been a way better experience because in this case, everything just rolled all over the place and I have to sit and guess anyway. So not an ideal way to do it, I think. While it's nice that they label all the screws and bolts, they then go ahead and do not use the same name in the manual and, and furthermore, the images of the screws don't match what they actually look like in real life. Sometimes you would see them ask you to use a screw where the threads only go halfway up the screw or the bolt itself, whereas in reality it goes all the way up. It's small things like that that just adds to a more confusing build experience. And in some situations, the manual was just outright wrong. It, in the manual, it asked me when I was mounting the seat here, it was asking me, there was basically two sets of holes, wide and narrow. It asked me to use the narrow ones, but the rails that came pre-installed on the seat, which was nice, by the way, it came pre-installed on the seat, only fitted on the wide tracks. So I started off screwing it down on one side on the narrow, only to realize it doesn't fit in the other side, so I have to undo those screws and, and move it over. And, and the same with lengthwise, they showed me to use the holes that was as far back as possible, but if I did that, they would only fit in the back, not in the front. So I had to use the holes one further in. It's not a massive deal. I figured it out eventually. Um, but like the build time for this entire thing was about two and a half hours for, um, um, for the chair. And I think an hour and a half for the stand. I'm pretty sure I could have cut half an hour of both of those if the instructions had been correct and everything was labeled correctly. 
Now the last complaint I have is actually with the seat here. It's relatively nice to sit in and I do appreciate that it doesn't, like often when you see these kind of setups, they have these racing seats. It has a hump at the front because, well, when you're racing, you don't want to slide out of it. Um, which is not good in an office chair because it put pressures on the knee, like behind your kneecap and that closes blood flow to your legs. This seat, it's relatively comfortable. It's okay. It's nice to sit in. It has that flight, like cockpit kind of look to it um, with the, of course, the notch here in between your legs for that um, center mounted joystick if you want to do it. So that's, from that, it's okay. But what I didn't like about it was when I assembled it, I just took a closer look at the stitching and around the corners, they've caught some corners, that's for sure. It was not pretty. You won't see it when it's assembled, but it's just one of those things when you buy a product like this and you're assembling and you notice that the stitching is all messed up, like it's down there right behind, I'm not gonna notice that. But it just makes you think, I mean, is this gonna last two, three years, or how long is this gonna last before stitchings begin to go up if, if they've been sloppy with the corner. Now, as I said, if you're interested in winning yourself a cockpit like this, um, Next Level Racing is actually running a giveaway right now. I'll be posting a link for it uh, in the description. It'll be at the top of the description. I'll also link to the store pages for each of these products so you can go and take a further look at them yourself if you're interested. And when you sign up for the giveaway, use the code down to earth. I'll post it together with the link so you can just copy paste it, make it nice and easy for you. And then you have a chance to go and win yourself a setup like this. If you want some stuff like for free, then go down and follow that link in the description. But do let me know in the comment section. I'm generally interested to know, what do you think about stuff like this? Are you interested in seeing more product reviews like these? Um, or do you just think they are too expensive and a waste of time? Post them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and also next time, I'll see you guys in space.